What do you think is the most advanced technology project that all defense industries in the world are working on? Sixth generation warplanes or EYI UAVs? Maybe, but there are projects that are much more challenging and advanced than these. You've heard of quantum radars before. Quantum radars are currently at the forefront of the most demanding and advanced technology developed by the defense industries. Because quantum radars, as the name suggests, work with quantum mechanics and are an extremely complex technology. And if this complex technology is realized, it will be a great danger to today's modern fifth-generation warplanes and future sixth-generation warplanes. Because quantum radars eliminate the concept of stealth. So what is quantum radar? It started to be developed for medical and civilian use, but as the studies progressed, it was revealed that this technology would also be used in military terms, especially against stealth aircraft. Work with quantum radars began in the early 2000s. The first official work began in 2005 by Lockheed Martin. After 2010, America, Canada, many European countries, Russia, and China started to invest in this technology. For the first time in 2016, Canada was able to detect nearby objects using quantum radar technology. However, the most ambitious moves in this regard came from China. Although the Chinese claimed to have built a working quantum radar for the first time in 2016, they did not give much detail. In 2018, China exhibited its quantum radars and spoke quite assertively. China claimed that this radar works flawlessly and has a range of 100 kilometers. At the moment, we do not know the state of quantum radar technology of countries. China's claims are big, but they have shown no data to support those claims. Lockheed Martin Company has been working on this technology for a long time, but it has serious problems with range. That's why the claims of the Chinese do not sound very convincing. According to many military experts, quantum radars will enter the battlefields from 2025. Now let me explain the real issue. How does quantum radar work? Quantum radars generally work like conventional radars, but there is a very serious difference. For a quantum radar to work, it must be able to use one of the most interesting of quantum mechanics. Quantum entanglement. If I am going to explain quantum entanglement in detail, I will summarize it briefly because this video will be very long. You can circulate photon particles emitted from a stationary source through superconductors. In short, you can turn them into mirror reflections of each other. Let me give an example to understand better. As if you could turn them into twin brothers who can communicate telepathically with each other. When you tangle two photons together, you will see the effect of the force you apply on one of them on the other photon. No matter how far these photons are from each other, the effect you make in one is also observed in the other photon. First, the photons begin to separate using a laser. The separated photons are entangled by superconductors at temperatures very close to absolute heat. Let's call these entangled photons A photons and B photons. A photon is emitted from the antenna of the radar to the environment. B photons are hidden. We reduce the A photons we emit to wavelengths below 20 Hz. This is such a low frequency that it cannot be detected at all. When the A photons we emit hit an object in the air, they interact with the object. When photon A interacts with the object it hits, the sister photon B we have hidden begins to show an interaction. In other words, when photon A hits something in the air, photon B responds similarly without the photons needing to be reflected back to the radar antenna. We can tell by looking at photon B that photon A has hit something. As you know, stealth planes do not reflect back the radio waves that hit them. Thanks to their body geometry, they scatter radio waves in different directions or absorb radio waves thanks to the special coatings used. In this way, radio waves are not reflected in the direction they come from. Nothing is visible because nothing is reflected on the radar. In quantum radars, it's enough for photons to hit something. It does not need to be reflected back to the radio antenna. Because we have B photons that we hide. Using this technology, you can emit waves at such a low frequency that they can't be noticed. The other party cannot detect you, 
but you can detect the other party. And the best part is, the other party is not aware that it has been detected. You are using very low frequency so you cannot be detected. You are officially turning the airborne predator into prey. And the hunt doesn't know anything. That's why quantum radars are said to be the absolute killer of stealth warplanes. It's really great technology, but this radar has a very serious problem. These radars are not as sensitive as conventional radars in target detection and tracking. Current quantum radars can detect the shape of an object in the air. Cannot fully define it. It can measure the speed of an object in the air, but cannot detect at what altitude or in which direction it is heading. It also cannot provide clear information about aircraft diagnosis. It knows that a distant object is an airplane, but does not provide clear data on whether that plane is a MiG-29 or an F-16 or a commercial plane. But the real problem is their range. Existing quantum radars do not work at a range of 100 kilometers, as the Chinese claim. They have no evidence to support these claims. It is a mystery how China talks about 100 kilometers while Raytheon, one of the world's most advanced technology companies that made the first investments in this field, cannot exceed 10 kilometers yet. In short, quantum radars have a serious sensitivity and range problem. After 2030, these problems will be overcome. On the one hand, quantum radars are being developed. On the other hand, opposite technologies are being developed. Stay tuned to be notified of such videos. Have a nice day.